Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. I'm Sean Petit, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you, all new subscribers. I am so, so grateful that you are here, and I'm grateful for all the ones who continue to come back. So, okay, today, I, well, today, I have been using my wet strength tissue paper and I've got two videos um, on YouTube right now as you when you see this video um, of my my trials my errors my tips my techniques and options because I know that wet strength tissue paper is not available so I was lucky enough to get some before I don't know what happened it, everyone went crazy looking for what strength tissue paper so I have some options for you and in those videos I show you the drawbacks the benefits all that kind of stuff I find some new things to help me with my wet strength tissue paper all kinds of stuff so there's two videos part one and part two and we have a lot of fun so I have been I'm, I just cleaned my hands and they were ugh, nice and gunky and good. Okay, so you can check those out. I'll link those in the, in the description below and I'll also link them above, at least one or two of them, or one of them. Okay, now, a couple things. So, as of when you see this video, the membership doors are open for new members. Yay! We love new members. We have such a wonderful community. Fun, fun projects ranging from journaling to abstract to florals, everything. There's, you know, beginner things and intermediate and a little bit more advanced. So there's a little bit of everything for you in the membership. So the doors are open and right now I'm having a free preview. So because of the free preview, I'm going to be doing some really great things that I haven't done before. So because I'm doing the wet strength tissue paper kind of series and what I'm doing today, will I will be using the papers that I created with you, some of them anyway, um, plus we'll be doing a bonus project. So I have taken my wet strength tissue paper and put that put a book together. This is like a junk journal. And um, this is this lesson, creating the journal and the pages will be available to you in the membership during the free preview. The free preview is for two weeks and you'll have two weeks to check out this lesson. I'll have the, the wet strength tissue paper videos in there as well. And then there's a lot on free preview that you can check out, including my newest workshop, which hasn't even been released yet. I'm giving you the whole thing for free. Um, you just have to sign up for the free preview for the membership and you will get those lessons. You'll have it for two weeks while the membership is on the free preview setting. So the, the uh, workshop that's coming out is called Bookish and we use books. It's my favorite thing. Um, we use book books, book pages, book covers, book spines, um, book, 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 all different kinds of books. And we talk about story and the stories that we have lived, the stories we have read, and the stories we want to live, and how to let go maybe of some of the stories that we've been told. So um, the projects are, are awesome. They're not difficult, but they're really intriguing um, like this is a book cover that we created on. And then this one, I love this one. This is a book spine. These are all papers that we put down on, on cardboard. If you don't have books, I give you options, all kinds of stuff. So this whole workshop is free to you um, during the free preview. Um, along with a whole lot of other monthly content that you will be able to take in. So, <clears throat> and the, our little junk journal adventure. So there's a lot for you in the free preview if you are interested. Um, it doesn't cost anything for the free preview. You just have to sign up for it and then you will have access to those free preview sections. Okay, so... Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you. I don't think so, so let's now talk about today. 
So I have out here a 12 by 12 MDF board and I, um, I have, this is just, this is kind of an example of the wet strength tissue paper videos. I did a comparison of a whole bunch of products. So sorry, I had that out there. So this is a lot of what we create in the videos. Um, and I have pulled out of, and this isn't even half of it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? But I pulled out several of them. <laughs> several, it's kind of ridiculous, but that's okay. It's ridiculous in a good kind of way. Um, but I've pulled out several that I might use, to, I might. I, there's no way I can use all of these, but um, what I want to do for today's project is because I'm on kind of the flower, let me zoom out just a tiny bit here. I'm on the flower kick of exploring flowers, florals, whatever. I want to do somewhat of an abstract floral, but very, very simply because I want the flowers to be simple um, so that I can then come back and add like some pattern in the petals of the flowers. So I'm going to put papers down in the background, but I want them to kind of be coming off of the um, like corners, something like that, off of the wood. So I want it to kind of be, some, I know this looks very childlike, um, and it may end up that way. Who knows? You never know, right? That's the one thing we have learned this year is creativity is an adventure. And so something like this, real fun. And then I can come into the petals. I want the petals to be kind of exaggerated. Um, so after I paint it, then I'm going to come back in with just like, like just a bit of collage paper to add some texture to add some something. That is my thought anyway. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna put regular um, pages down, book pages. These are actually book pages that we used for the bookish workshop that you will have access to free. Um, and that won't come out to the public in, for another couple of weeks. So, um, so I'll be using regular page paper for the background. I'm going to do a very soft and subtle background and then I want to come back over that with some of my papers to add some of that grungy feel. That's my thought. So I'm going to be using a lot of papers. I will not be using stencils per se. I used stencils all throughout my papers. So um, it's, I think this will be fairly simple. I want the flowers to be large and I want the petals to kind of overlap. So I really want them to be kind of overstated is how I'm thinking. So that's my plan. I hope it works, but if it doesn't, I know that I will learn something in the process. So Lots of information that I gave you today. I have been filming and filming and filming for days, and I hope that you enjoy the um, Wet Strength Tissue Paper two-part series. I hope you get to jump over to the membership and check it out for one, and then also get this for free. It's all free. And um, instead of, you know, or you can wait and have it, you can purchase it when it comes out. So. Okay, my loves, what a fun couple of days just playing and letting go and just nurturing my creative soul. You know, when you, when you get in here, it's like jelly printing. You get in here, it's just like one, like the next thing, and then the they're like, oh, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And I so want that for you every day in your creative journey. And I hope that I can be one tiny spark for you to try something new or use different things or whatever it might be. So, all right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.
Thank you.